Good morning, folks. Today we're seeing two excellent articles on space radiation and human health, a weird thing that came out of nowhere in space, and the verification of the dynamics of the mantle. But we've also got a need to discuss space weather, so here's the last 24 hours on our star. Filaments snap and erupt both north and south. Lots of confined activity, but little in the way of eruptions in Earth-facing position. At the end of the sequence, a brand new sunspot group has a minor eruption during an M-class solar flare. Zooming in on that one here, we'll have to add this to the watch list, especially because the bigger sunspot groups are not doing much of anything. These three large active regions have been about as quiet as you could imagine, and they are turning towards the limb now. There's only minor magnetic complexity, so we'll have to say that the new young spots in the plasma filaments are actually the bigger watch right now. First up in the articles, as always, a black hole is blamed for the sudden appearance of a massive bit of activity in the middle of space. But the mystery of this one goes deep. They've never seen something in space come to life like this before, out of nowhere, and their immediate assumptions notwithstanding, kind of a mystery we've got here out in the middle of the vastness. Up next, two papers on space radiation. First one on female reproductive health. They're calling for a serious and rapid push to study this topic further as they see several vectors of extremely high risk for both mother and fetus, and not much existing on what to expect with excess radiation exposure in terms of studies already done. Another one here on heart issues and blood cancers after radiation exposure. Extremely high risk for health problems from the moment of exposure throughout the remainder of life. These are, of course, not just relevant for space travel, but for all humans as Earth's protection from space radiation fails in the ongoing magnetic pole shift. Lastly, folks, from mild to wild, the mantle's plasticity and dynamic motion relative to itself as a liquid body is vastly more wild than scientists had imagined, especially when it comes to olivine. Folks, it's things like this that tell us that the mantle heaving fears in the great catastrophe are absolutely real. When this all goes down in the coming years, it would be best to hope that heaving like that doesn't take place beneath your location. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.